Okay, today we're going to run uh, a Shakia, Shagia uh, cylindrical grinder. This is a model G32, and uh, this is a full automatic cylindrical grinder, universal cylindrical grinder, um, with a swing down ID attachment, a headstock that could be live or dead and swivels, a wheel head that has a certain uh, plus or minus degrees of uh, swivel to it, that would be on our quotation, and um, it's fully automatic in that it has uh, plunge feed, uh, traverse grinding with spark out, uh, plunge grinding with spark out, and um, it has a lot of features. So it's currently wired for, four, for 220 volts or 230 volts, uh, three phase, and controls over here, or you got your emergency stop, uh, you've got your to start your hydraulics and your spindle. Uh, you could stop the spindle if you don't want the spindle on. Uh, you've got uh, a cycle stop button. You've got a jog here for your headstock, and you've got a mode selector here for when you're traverse grinding, whether you want to feed on the left side or the right side, or if in this case of being in the center, and you're going to feed in on both sides. Then you've got a setting here for being in the automatic mode. And then you've got a setting here for setting up, a setup mode. This green button here is uh, not the jog, this is the jog. Uh, this is your cycle start button. So there's a little symbol of a cycle there. Well, the wheel head uh, has its own uh, lubrication, external lubrication tank, which is mounted behind the machine, which uh, constantly runs fresh oil, filtered oil, through the spindle bearings. And this takes a 14 inch diameter wheel with a five inch bore. Uh, the width I would imagine is it would probably be uh, two inches uh, depending on how you had the wheel recessed. Um, the headstock if I'm not mistaken uh, would be a Morse taper number four along with the same with the tailstock a Morse taper number four but you have to check the quotation to be sure of that. Um, so you've got your in-feed hand wheel and you've got your table longitudinal table hand wheel uh, you've got a control lever here to start and stop the table hydraulically. You've got a mode selector here from being in manual to being in plunge to being in traverse. You've got a speed of your table when we start going with hydraulic and you've got a speed of your infeed. Uh, the control down here uh, it sets the amount of stock removal uh, so that when it chime at the end of your cycle after you get down to the zero uh, you can set how far back it retracts each time so you don't have to wait for it to feed in the full amount of the dial. Um, over here we've got uh, two different timers. This one is in seconds. It goes from zero to 30 seconds or 35 seconds and um, you can adjust it to any way you want and that's, this will come on at the end of the cycle. You'll get your red light on to say that you're at the, at the dead stop or at the end and um, this will start the time down as a spark out in the plunge grinding. In traverse grinding it, goes, it switches over to a stroke counter so each time your table goes back and forth, back and forth, this will click down and you can do as many as 30 uh, strokes. Um, this up here is a swing down ID attachment. You pull this pin out of here and this will slide out of the slide down, provided you don't hit the tail stock or you have room for it. Once this is put down, there's an electrical switch that's made, automatically stops this motor from coming on, automatically deactivates the retraction and spark out, and uh, automatic infeed. So when you're working with this machine uh, with the um, ID attachment folded down, you're no longer going to have a rapid in and out. Uh, you're no longer going to have automatic infeed. This will automatically change from uh, rotating toward the operator to rotating away from the operator, all for ID grinding. Um, <clears throat> but right now I'm just going to show you a regular plunge grind. So I want to see that I'm in the plunge grind mode here, that I've got some feed turned on. I'm going to start this up. Now that'll start my wheel, the hydraulics. This is my jog here for the headstock and if I have everything set properly I press the cycle start button and this will come in and we start the feed down. The feed is adjustable to slow that down or speed it up.
When we get to zero, we start this timer. Put the red light on up there, and then the machine kicks out. And the hand wheel retracts back to its original position. The headstock stops rotating. We'll do that one more time. Come in. We start to hit the part now. We're grinding. Come down to zero, zero, start our timer. And we retract. We hold. Hand wheel backs up, work head stops, wheel head goes back. If we wanted to do a longitudinal program, it's basically the same thing. You gotta give it some table. Now we only feed Now this knob here controls the speed of the table and this one controls the amount that it feeds. So if I turn it down, we're going to feed very little. If I turn it up, we're going to feed a lot. So it'll go on like that down to zero. Now an automatic, this doesn't feed down to a dead stop. This would be your dead stop here if you were going to work with this by hand. But in automatic, uh, you're feeding out a feed cylinder that's mounted below here. And when that's fed out all the way to its final, uh, its, to its dead stop, that's the real true, um, you know, there's no longer any infeed. All right, so now we're at zero and we've got our timer on. Each time we go back and forth, we're clicking down on the timer on the right. And once that gets all the way down to zero, we're no longer feeding in. The infeed is stopped. There is a coolant system with, the, with this grinder. We have it uh, outside the room. That's the end of the cycle there. <clears throat> and then we also have, make sure we have the table turned off. have enough room here. We have the ID attachment. Okay, so as soon as I swung that down, it stopped the grinding wheel. I have a belt that'll go on there. can put these stops together. <clears throat> right, we'll let you come in the first time. No, it won't. So at this point, everything is, there is no longer an automatic. All right, yes, there is. So we can actually plunge. We'll do this. We get to zero. We're doing our spark out passes. Hand wheel backs up, but the spindle stays where it is, inside the bore, so you don't have a crash. We'll do that one more time. We're inside the bore. We're feeding. 
We're going to get down to zero. Count. We don't go back. That's the safety on any cylindrical grinder with an internal ID attachment. A safety so that you don't get that retraction going back and breaking off your quill and having a big uh, disaster. So that's the Shigia. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.